Yeah, that's true. Hey, everybody, we're live. What's Hello. Up? Uh, what's up, Penguin? Your guy who's excited to go to the fair. Oh. I'm... Wow. Oh. Fair. This is like an old timey <laughs> one. Yeah. Hmm. Remember fairs? Yeah. <laughs> After driving to the. Does fair? anybody remember fairs? Hmm. I'm trying to think of the last time I've been to a fair. Oh, going to the fair. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe like the right now. Thirteen. Right now, we're all in the middle of an unfair. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, after driving to the fair, you are about to start having fun, but a fair employee uh, stands in front of you and says you need to pay a fee. You think They're a carny. Up? Okay, let's just call him a carny. Yeah, already. a carny. Yeah. You think he says you need to take a pee, so you pee your pants. <laughs> what? After you what? Pee, after your pants are soaked, you look at the guard and say, I peed my pants, so now can I go to the fair? <laughs> Now, would this guy be a hard ass, or would he just be like, "Good, I don't, don't want to talk to this piss-covered stranger"? Is this like a true a story? Ass. Yeah, is this something that happened? Yeah, to this is just out of your diary. What's this guy's name? Your diarrhea. <laughs> oh, badass new shirt, thing. Thank you, thank you. And possibly Jim. <laughs> yeah, Jim's wear. We're wet. We always wear matching shirts. Me and Jim. Yeah, Jim and yeah. Jason always wear matching shirts. Yep. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're, uh, uh, Teddy, Teddy Waskell. Oh, a guy. Teddy Waskell. Hi, Teddy Waskell. You, you Waskelly Wabbit peeing your pants again to get in the fire? Going down to the fire. Golly, I gotta see all these things, and I sure do have to pee. <laughs> I sure do have to make water. The fair employee gets angry and says, No, no, no. I have actual money. I meant you have to pay a fee to get into the oh, fair. Wow. You then get out your wallet and give him all your money. Uh -oh. No, Tony Waskell. No, oh, we're not too smart. <laughs> yeah, Tony, that was five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, you just got your inheritance check from your rich father. <laughs> I spent all my money at the fire. I have no Stop money squeak. for tickets. Nice, uh, Gui, are you going to go back to school, uh, or are you going to do online learning? Well, a lot of the places that are opening up are closing shortly after because there's just rampant outbreaks. Mm. Like uh, I heard, I heard around here what they're doing is they're having kids go to school like every other day. They're like splitting the classes in half, and then making half the class go every other day. Uh, that seems just as risky. It just seems like and a lot more work. Yeah. And they're cleaning, like, in between. And they're having mask breaks every once in a while. Oh, lordy, lordy. It's like, what? Are you typing something, Jason? Or? No. Okay. I have something. No, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. So the con is, uh, he says there's a fee, then he says he's already got the money, then you give him all your money, yeah. This seems like two confused people in a perfect storm of confusion. The yeah. perfect con, yeah. So the carny refuses to take your pea-soaked money, so you get into the fair for free. You head to the animal tent to roll in the sawdust and dry off. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, there you yeah. go. The petting zoo. Yeah. Or like the, the prize animal animals. The animal tent is filled with a bunch of monkeys. The monkeys see you and throw poop oh. at you. You cry. Oh, no. How would you rate this book? <laughs> uh, I, would rate, I would rate it very poorly. Yeah. Can you imagine <laughs> if someone wrote a book about one star? Uh, <laughs> this one day at the fair, I got... I peed my pants because I was confused and I gave all my money to the carnival worker and then monkeys threw poop at me. 
that's pretty it, much it. That's my story. It depends. If this is a children's book, it's good. If it's like mm. not a children's book, it's not good. Yeah. An audio book, really, maybe. I could, I could really use Charlotte's Web right now to block all this poo being thrown at me. <laughs> The prize-winning monkeys, they've gone crazy. <laughs> By the way, e. B., I was just reading E.B. White when he wrote the part in Charlotte's Web when, spoiler, uh, Charlotte dies, he, he cried. Oh. Can you imagine right, crying at your own writing? I've not done that one yet. Strange. So we've got the chance, guys. Uh, one episode. Yeah, I thought of that, Squee. You write... Another <laughs> book, but uh, this thanks, time thanks, the ending is changed <laughs> to where you throw your poop at the monkeys. Mm. This gets the attention of PETA. They protest your book and burn it in a public square. This makes you feel bad, so you write another book where you make friends with the monkeys. <laughs> 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 Writing a lot of books just to cover our uh, basis here. Are we just an author? Are we like in... No, I feel like it's very poor writing that we just release on Amazon because you don't need any publishing. You could just... Teddy Wasco is suddenly a reality warper. Yeah. Self-published for sure. Yeah. We're like mm -hmm. handing him out in a Walmart parking lot. We're like, hey, you want to read my book where I throw my shit at some monkeys at the fair? And they're like, no. Good. Uh, I'm going to say... Also, here's my rap CD. Yeah. This reminds me of walking down the, the strip in Vegas where they're like, hey, hey. Here's a CD. Yeah. And they hand it to you, and then you hold it. They're like, okay, that's $10. That's like, the what? grift. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. I've seen that before. Yeah. I'm going to say you write a book where you fall in love with the bearded lady. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so this has changed to a circus thing. Yeah. A romance. You write a book Fair where circus, you fall whatever. in love with the bearded lady. You become a big celebrity and have all the happiness you could ever want. You did it. You did it. That's wholesome. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is this based on a real story, Jim? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jim's former life with a bearded lady. So I've written many fan fiction novels about bearded women. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh, realize that was your fetish. And yeah. all the happiness I could ever want. Mm -hmm. You have three kids with the bearded Four. lady. They are spoiled by their wealth and fame. Mm. It's hard for those kids. Yeah, they gotta be jealous. Three you live a happy boxes. life and are always glad you didn't shot that clown in the face. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> are we calling oh. the carnival worker a clown? We're like, we could have shot that guy in the face, but we're glad we did. Maybe that, maybe that was her ex-boyfriend or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Come on, Teddy. Are we doing yeah, anime time skips now? I think so. Yeah, now we're on warp yeah, speed. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we need to do, uh, you flash back to that day you almost shot a clown. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, if it knows how to handle flashbacks. Is it like a literal clown or is this guy? Oh, the first okay. time with your family. You were a little boy, no more than five years old. How does a five-year-old get a gun? Yeah. Um, a, here, I'll say your dad uh, asked... Probably like a, like a BB gun. Ask you don't to, to hold his gun while he goes on the Ferris wheel with your mom. Uh oh, okay. Should time Find skips be a counter? Uh, I don't think so because I think time skips. Sometimes we force it to happen. Uh, it's like it's a storytelling thing, so it's not yeah. even common of a thing. Come yeah. on. 
It would just happen a lot, I feel like that. Okay, while you're waiting, a clown approaches you. Oh, 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 oh. hey, Petrified Pizza, what's up? His face is painted white with red spots, and he wears a hat perched on his head with a long tassel hanging down. Mm. I don't like. I don't. I already don't like the look of him. Yeah, you. Hey, you uh, uh, are afraid. That's what I was thinking, Bash. He's one of those Shriner clowns. Of clowns, and you try to sneak past him. As you get close, he sprays you in the eye with his gag flower and laughs and laughs. Make sure it's actually paid. That's you run away and bump into the Ferris wheel, and suddenly your hand is caught in the hinge of the door. Whoa! Ah, Whoa! Ouch! Ouch! That hurt. <clears throat> that fucking clown! Now I, <laughs> I'm starting to understand. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying, yeah. Uh, okay, uh you go. You, oh, you have something, Jim? You scream for help. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. We're stuck in the Ferris wheel. But which which our parents are on. Barbara comes and saves you. She is so grateful that when she takes you home, you become boyfriend and girlfriend. Ooh. Well, uh, with a uh, five-year-old? I mean, we're the five-year-old, so. So weird. Uh, okay, I'm going to say Barbara. Because she's got to be at least 25 or 22, right? Yeah, to be she's a nurse. Bar yeah, Barbara is She's arrested. playing nurse. Oh, okay. Or, Child endangerment. You pee your pants when the police come to arrest her. Uh huh. And we never see our parents again. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. And we all remember it's the clown that caused this to happen. Yeah. You are put in an orphanage, too. Barbara is arrested for child endangerment. Oh, you pee man. your pants when the police come to arrest her. You are put in an orphanage. Let me retry. Retry one more time. Uh, this is uh, this is becoming my hallmark. The AI doesn't understand me. A theme of my life, in let's fact. Let's try. Barbara's arrested for child endangerment. <laughs> then you pee your pants when the police come to arrest her. And are put, and are put in orphanage. Maybe if it's all one long run on time. Oh, I see. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, okay. Worth a try. No, nothing. Mm. What doesn't it understand? <laughs> yeah, what? It's a very. It doesn't understand story. the wrongness then, of it. Yeah. When you are adopted oh. by the worst people ever, you have to live with a family that is out to eat your heart. Whoa. You skip Whoa. the police affair and don't learn that clowns are friendly. Yes! Wow! It it wrapped up the flashback. Wow! You skip that day at the fair. And... Why is worst people ever all caps? It's like a title. Yeah. Maybe that... that's their name. Yeah. Like they're actually really cool, but it's like, hi, I'm I'm Jonathan, worst people ever. Yeah, and this is my wife. It's like a be band. Worst people ever. It would be a good improv troupe or a band name, though. Yeah, worst people ever. Uh, your flashback causes a surge of anger. You go to the local Walmart and. Buy a gun. Mm. Don't go to Walmart angry. That's what I've learned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While you wait for your mail order, <laughs> no. Uh, you. Is there a waiting period? Like now. three days or something? The clown. Five days, I think. Who... But I think that's only for handguns. I think if you buy a shotgun, you can just buy it, right? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's I'm going to say on. this Walmart not obeying protocol. 
and they just sell you a handgun without even looking okay. at it. Okay, like you know the guy who works there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you tracked down the clown right. who wronged you when you were younger. Let's just see. I'm not going to kill him, but I'm putting him in a situation where it's very likely he's, we're going to shoot this clown. He's yeah, got to yeah. be old now. Yeah. It's a different person. You break into his home with a gun and the clown suit he no longer uses. Oh. You stand over him as he sleeps. Should I forgive him, you think, or should I kill him? Wow. Oh, we're yeah. wearing his clown suit. Yeah. That's creepy. With the gun. But we, we are do, wearing this. But don't we don't we forgive him? Yeah. Kill him. Can, just, yeah, can we, we do both? Well, because we didn't, but I thought in the established story we didn't shoot him. Oh no! Now, now as an adult, we're but, but remembering that story made us angry, and now. Oh, so I this see, is all I taking see. place. Can we forgive him and yeah. shoot him? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why not both? <laughs> I think if he just wakes up to this, that'll be the revenge we need. And how we about just go, how about you you tie you tie up. Uh, the clown. Take him to the fair after dark. Oh, and put him on the Ferris wheel with yep. the, his hand. Yep. Slam his hands with the yeah. dark. And uh, chain him to the Ferris wheel. Yes, this is how it has to go. I heard getting shot in the gut is like the worst because it takes forever to you heal. Chain him to the oh. Ferris wheel. What's As you leave, here? you realize what a monster you have become. Oh. The next morning, all the news stations report that a clown was found chained <laughs> to the Ferris wheel. <laughs> that would be like front page news. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's awful. <laughs> That's I see you're awful. no longer sweaty, Jason. That is correct. I am sitting in a nice, cool 70 degree home now. And it was all the air filter. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say that you, um, I'm gonna say you find forgiveness in your heart for the clown. Oh. After the manhunt already has already begun. Yeah, yeah. You okay. throw away the gun and write a book about how to forgive. Whoa! Everyone buys your book and forgives the clown, who goes on to do great things with his life. Wow. Oh. So we helped him. That's, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, first, we kind of put his life in danger. He didn't really do anything other than scare a young child. And the rest was kind of us, but. Like Fight Club, where it's like you have to do something with your life, and we hold a gun to his head. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or, uh, 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 no something for old men. Uh, oh, yeah. That's what it was. With the clerk. Yeah. The coin toss. Yeah, call it. Yeah, call, call it. it. What? What? Call it. Uh, okay. Well, I think that's a good end to that story. And I would say that's yeah. awesome. We, <laughs> we become a scary song. clown that goes to kill this guy, but in the end we forgive him. And we write a book and, yeah, clown him. Yeah, I think that's nice. I'll track that. Uh... Jim, you got a prompt? Yes, I have a prompt. All right, well, let's, uh... Um... The story two. What if it okay, was an yeah. evil clown? Well, yeah. Uh, the, as anymore. the credits roll, uh, you see it's an <laughs> evil clown, and we should have killed him. <laughs> Bash, I didn't know you were a clown hater. Okay, so... He's a clown hater. Mm -hmm. uh, I have another kind of like um, uh, meta prompt with the three of us. Okay. Like okay. No meta so, Monday uh, saving? Well, it's up to you guys. No, uh, okay. So your name is Jim. You have been arrested and brought to the police station. Oh. You are sitting in the interrogation room when two police officers enter through the door. You look at their badges. One reads police officer Jason mm -hmm. and the badge of the other police officer reads police officer Tony. Okay. They sit down and begin to ask you questions. Mm. Interesting. How dare they arrest Jim Christ? So yeah. <laughs> Tell us your side of the story, says police officer Tony. 
You mm. explain what happened. About five minutes into the explanation, police officer Jason's phone begins to ring. Oh. Damn it. Uh, police officer, uh, Jason okay. steps out oh, okay. of the interrogation, interrogation room. Uh, and that's when Officer Tony pulls out a baseball bat and Ooh. demands answers. I knew it. I knew Tony was the bad cop. What? Maybe I'm the good cop. Maybe no. Jason has planned his way worse. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll see. Mm -hmm. But I'm Why? innocent for sure. Were you a Try to reason with Officer oh, Tony, choices. or B, oh. defend yourself? Two, will you A, attack Officer Jason as soon as he enters the room, or B? Whoa, d double, double choices. You got... Hmm. Hmm. Or B, nothing. Wow, what, um... So I would say... I'll say, whoa, cool it. <laughs> okay. I'm innocent. No, I'm just, this is a bat for my, uh, you know, amateur baseball team that we have after after work today. And Jason's Your guy. story seems to convince him. All right, you've convinced me, kid. Unable uh. to control yourself, you uh. punch the officer right in the nose. Uh. The force of the punch <laughs> knocks him out cold. I never even, uh, he, he sucker punched me. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, okay, you're innocent, I believe you. And then we yeah, know. Know. One punch, Jim, yeah. You steal. One yeah. punch! One punch! You steal officer. And then, yeah, I was going to steal the keys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uniform. Oh, and uniform. keys. And mm, it's gonna be a little loose on you, son. Escape the police station. Uh, you stay yeah. at uh, Hotel Six on the edge of town. Yeah, man. Even if I'm innocent, I don't trust these cops anymore. No. It's like the fugitive. You were watching the news when you learned that Officer Tanya found the real killer. An escaped mental Tanya. patient had broken into your car to steal the radio. He stabbed her to death in a rage after she disturbed him. Jesus. Oh, man. So they think I they think I killed Officer Tanya? No, they did, but they found the real killer. But now because you escaped the police station, you're fucked. Uh... Has that ever happened where they like... All right. We know you broke out and you punched this officer and broke his nose, but we're gonna do a boys will be boys. Uh, maybe. Well, maybe. I'm gonna say <laughs> you. Um. Did they already find the real killer? I mean, yeah, he's that's in what custody. they said. He's You're in watching custody. Him? Yeah, they found him. Yeah, an escaped yeah. mental patient. Good luck getting that past the judge. Yeah, that's a great. I'm play. gonna say. Um, I'm going to say you go to Officer Jason's house in the middle of the night. Okay. Mm -hmm. And plead your innocence. You arrive at Officer Jason's house. You knock on the door and he answers. Hey kid, come on in. He says, his voice filled with false joy. False joy. Hey, kids, come oh. on in to my house. Yeah, you. I know what you did, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. You false enter. joy. Does that mean he's gonna do something bad? Yeah. You enter the house and sit down, Officer Jason. Uh, turns on the light. And you see that you are in a room filled with baseball 
bats. Oh, some shit. have uh, spikes. Some are broken. <laughs> and, uh, thumb. Give me uh, the wiffle bat. I w hit me with the wiffle one. Drive <laughs> yeah. blood. Do it like this. Do it like I'm that. Bad. He sits down across from you. All right, kid. Let's talk. You begin to explain what happened. Uh huh. Boom. Beat. I'm gonna say. You uh, hear a toilet hey, flush. Come on in. <laughs> yeah. Come on. You see Officer Tony walk around the corner. Ha uh, ha ha! We live mm. together. Into the Tony. room. <laughs> Tony, future roommates. Yeah. <laughs> I call the bitch. basement. You yell, swinging the chair in your hand at him. Oh. The chair breaks against oh. his face. The wood breaks off in your hand, leaving only two legs. Wow, you break a chair over Tony's face. <laughs> it's the old gate cop <laughs> trope. <laughs> yeah, okay, Tony. I'm gonna, I need to get involved here. Man, Tony keeps getting the brunt of all of them. So <laughs> I'm I just know, sitting I, here. Uh, uh, some sort of resentment. Yeah. I like it when he's like, this is my this is my partner, Tony. Yeah. You know, I mean it more than one way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, Officer Tony orders his police dog to attack your genitals. Okay. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Officer Tony orders his police oh, come dog on. to attack your genitals. Why does the AI never know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. The dog obeys oh, yeah. and rips your genitals off. <gasps> you scream no. and blood begins to pour out of your body. You pass oh, out and die. Bad. Wow. Wow. Awesome. All right, you are a bad cop. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I feel like I was pushed to the edge. You're... You, uh... Alright, we, we have become a ghost too many times. What's what's our other options for reincarnation? Uh, we could be transplanted into the body of the dog. Oh, okay, here we go. We got like a... a an airbud situation. Well, not an air... <laughs> You've got, uh... Uh... What's the Gary Busey movie where he becomes a dog? <laughs> God, I don't even know. Uh, I've never know? heard of that. Yeah. Is it the Shaggy Dog? Uh, like a remake? No, it's worse. It's like, oh man, I gotta see this. Gary Busey Dog. Uh, Quigley. He dies, and uh, they... He hates dogs, so the angels are like, "Okay, you get one last chance to be to go to heaven. You have to help yeah. somebody as a dog." And he gets put into oh, this wow. like Pomeranian. Man, angels are assholes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I guess you. Your soul floats around the house, and <laughs> uh, your soul floats out of your body and into the dog through the butthole of course mm. through that's how dogs communicate mm -hmm. you are, are now officer tony's dog your genital eating dog mm -hmm. that's how i trained him the german way <laughs> Jim Christ can't die, that's right. The end you reach the Judas ending. <laughs> this ending is for those who betrayed the police force. What? What does that mean? The Judas ending? Betrayed <laughs> the police force. We didn't betray the police force, did uh, we? I guess we kind of... I mean, you uh, punched him in the face and then you broke a chair over his face. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to... The... Let's see if we... Mm, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna write. Uh, Jim is dead. Okay. Yep. Okay. The um, police chief receives uh, an envelope with dog in the mail. On it. Yep. <laughs> with um. This is a dark comedy. Yeah. 
Pro tip, with don't content. ever order a two right. descending. Yes, sir. With contents marked evidence. It'll cost you 30 pieces of silver. <laughs> it is full of evidence uh, revealing Tony and Jason's uh, You're crime. outing us. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. So before I went over, I sent, I mailed the uh, police chief evidence. Interesting. Okay. War crimes. Jim's dead body is also <laughs> found, crimes. killed by a shotgun blast to the chest. The end you reached the Lazarus ending. Okay. The Lazarus ending. Whoa, okay. Interesting. Well, the Lazarus ending means that we have to come back to life. Yeah. And also, they made it... They tried to cover it up by... Uh, Shooting our body with a shotgun and leaving it by the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, that that's, a good, that's a good cover up. Yeah. Huh? Just like we planned it. Uh, as as a dog. I just want to type you. You reach the wholesome ending and see what it does. <laughs> as a dog, you run away and. Find, uh, uh, find who's, who's someone that would adopt us? What crimes have Tony, Jason, Tony and Jason done? Yeah. Uh, you run away and find a, uh, lonely, uh, old, uh, vegan. deli counter, the deli owner. You befriend him. Uh, you find a lonely old the uh, deli owner named, uh, <laughs> Greg, uh, Greg Louise. Greg Louise, okay. You befriend him, and... He's probably had a hard, hard life because he has a girl's last name. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, let's just see how, how it takes that. One day while he is at the store, you break into his home. You drink some of his wine and eat some of his food. Thanks. Thanks, you also Curtis. discover a large amount of money in a suitcase. Bad dog! Piana? That'd be interesting though to be, uh... Like a cop dog that solves crimes and you run away from home. And you just keep getting adopted by people that are doing crimes. Oh. <laughs> How's a dog gonna drink wine? Yeah. It's gotta be in a bowl. Uh, how about this? You eat some of the money, then you go to a random dog park. Oh. Here we go. Find some bitches. Yep. You poop out some money. Ah. Uh, yeah. And everyone thinks you are a magical dog. Hmm. That's like a devil's bargain. It's like you have a dog that poops money, but you got to pick it out of the dog shit. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Well, crazy. you're gonna you're gonna pick it up anyway, even if there's no money in you it. You become a hero in the dog park, pooping out nickels and dimes. Nickels and dimes. Very slowly, someone oh can my become God, a that's millionaire. Even worse. Yeah. Not even it, quarters. Who is yeah. it? It was a suitcase full of loose change. Yeah, yeah. You gotta make sure I live for 30 years so you get the entire fortune out of my ass. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, all the uh, people at the dog park uh, get <laughs> sick uh, when they use their poop money uh an outbreak of uh what do you get when you just poop uh an uh, outbreak of e pink e eye e coli. and e coli uh spread rampantly throughout the town coronavirus yeah it's it's spread through poop. It's poop. 
Don't use money. Stop using money. Yeah. Revert to anarchy. <laughs> gold bars. Only gold bars. Yeah. All the people at the dog uh. park get sick when they use their poop money. An outbreak of pink eye and equally spread rampantly throughout the town. Come on. The end. <laughs> okay. I guess that's got. That's okay. When in doubt, just go with coronavirus. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nah, we can't. We that can't be the end because there's still there's a lot of loose ends in this. Yeah, yeah. No pun intended. Yeah. The dog's butt is the loosest end of all. Heyo. Hey. -o. hey. But wholesome. <laughs> but wholesome. That's great. Yeah. That's a T-shirt, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Officer Tony sees you walking the streets and chases after you. You gotta have a showdown. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tony's like, come here, boy. Come here, boy. He catches you and puts you in the shelter for stray dogs. Oh, what an asshole, Tony! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say, um... It's for the dog's good and for the good of society, Jason. Okay, just I guess. Do, just doing my job. <laughs> I feel like it's at the end enough time, so it's probably out of ideas. Yeah. I'm gonna say, um... You bite off Officer Tony's genitals there as you're we putting that's, oh that's what I was trying to go towards, at least. <laughs> Why do I get the worst <laughs> abuse you from find you find yourself in a high-ranking position in the dog mob. Ooh, what? There's a dog mafia? <laughs> yeah, it's wow. organized dog crime. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, like, you rise in the... Uh, like, wow, kid, I like the way you bit off those genitals. Yeah. You're a dog fighter. You're, oh, dog father. Yeah. You're the <laughs> yep, dog that's, father. A, that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh-huh. Play poker with the other dogs, yeah. You team up with the cat mafia to assassinate the mayor. Oh, wow. Okay. <gasps> Holy sh- What happened to Officer Jason? Okay. You tell the dog... Uh, I, oh, uh... You tell the... Dog, uh, that the mayor is formerly former officer Jason, and that you know exactly how to get to him. Mm -hmm. Let's see how some officer Jason died. No. No. You lead the dog mob to the station. Officer Jason is sitting at his desk, filling out paperwork. He looks up just in time to see the horde of dogs plunge their teeth into him. Whoa! Oh. He's like, how can I help you? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, how about Officer Jason says... Laws don't apply to dogs. Points to... <laughs> one of the dogs and says Do? I knew it was Barkzini all along it's a Godfather reference okay <laughs> Officer Jason God to damn one it. of the dogs <laughs> and says I knew it was Barkzini all along let's see if I can Barkzini why I'm really confused as to why it doesn't the understand end. me you are a hero at the police force for discovering the identity of Officer Jim's killer. His death leads to an investigation that reveals all of Officer Jim's corruption. Oh, interesting. Oh, Jim was Jim was under an undercover officer the whole time. Yeah. I was. That, but now yeah. he's a dog, yeah. It's like the departed and all dogs go to heaven combined yeah, into one yeah. movie. Is that last one a kill? Yeah, uh, I think so. I think with so. Jason, you mean? Yeah. You, yeah, I think you died. Yeah. Oh, for sure. A horde of dogs. Yeah, you were torn apart by dogs. Yeah. Oh, what a horrible way to die. All right, last story. The dog, the dog parted. parted. That's great, nice. guys. Uh, Tony, you got a prompt? <laughs> I do. Punch it on in there. All right. Let me go to number three. A three. Three. 
three bites. One, two, three. All right, hold on. You're a time traveler, and you have butter knives grafted to your hands. Your goal is to kill the time traveler, or the kill the inventor of sliced bread, so your hands get unmutilated. Oh, interesting. Mm, we could use that one another time. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put that on the list here. Okay. Well, you got a good one? I mean, I like mine. Okay, yeah, let's go. And then, then that's good. Yeah, yeah. We, I'm oh, adding wait. that to the Shit. list. I, I didn't read it out loud. Uh, she goes up to the surface to talk to you, and she tells you that she broke up with her boyfriend, Eric, and wants you back. You also have a conversation with Prince Eric on land. So I'll say, you are Todd, a deep sea pearl diver who earns a living by diving for pearls for tourists. You love your job, but you have a bad relationship with your kids, Emma and Ethan, because you spend so much time in the water. One day while diving for pearls, you run into your ex-friend, girlfriend, Ariel, who is a mermaid. She goes up to the surface to talk to you, and she tells you that she broke up with her boyfriend, Eric, and wants you back. You also have a conversation with Prince Eric on land. Okay, interesting. The good fellas, more like the good boys. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, Uh, you tell what part is it? What the AI came up with? Prince Eric. The part that says she goes up to the surface. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. You tell Prince Eric uh, what just happened. He uh. Looks disappointed and puts away a ring box that he had in his hands. Yeah, that's a good point. There are very much fewer fallbacks than men in blacks. Yeah. Uh, I was planning to marry you, he says. Oh, whoa. We're too different, whoa. Eric. You tell him. You're a merman, and I'm a human. So what? He asks. Wow, that's not what I thought was going to happen, but yeah, sure. Eric was planning to propose to us. Oh, I, I, I know what to say. I don't see the new hmm. prompt on the screen. It's just the, the genitals. Oh, oh yeah. Up. Oops, I got to Yeah. Thank you, uh, Penguin. Yeah, there you go. I forgot to switch to it. I say I don't like fish sticks in my mouth. I can <laughs> learn, he says in a hurt voice. Ugh. It's you I want, not some human food. <laughs> that joke went way over Prince Eric's head. <laughs> uh, he's not a, he doesn't watch uh, South Park, apparently. You, uh, you tell, uh, all right, you say, uh, it was a joke, Eric. This is just another reason why it would Never work out between us. Make some loot gestures. Oh, my Eric. stream is. He looks upset, but agrees with you. You apologize and agree to meet up at the same place in a few days. Seeing him so upset makes you sad, but this is for the best. Yeah, if someone is somebody you consider a friend is uh, proposing to no. you. You got to kind of put the brakes up. You got to realize yeah, that yeah. Uh, you're not doing any good by enabling their uh, their fantasy. So how about uh, you meet up with Prince Eric um, and you try to fix him up. Why? What about Ariel? Oh, yeah. Well, they broke up, I thought. Yeah. Sebastian yeah, but Prince. she wants his back. Yeah, but well, we're gonna try and fix him up with you Sebastian. Says with that Eric, she broke up with her boyfriend and she wants you back. His spirits, they seem to so. make him more upset. I can't believe you're willing to give up on us so easily, he says. Oh my. Yeah, okay. Okay. It, it might be time to cut off. Hey, uh, Eric, I'm gonna, I'm moving and I'm changing my number and uh, don't ever call me again. <laughs> Uh, Tell him he's a shell of his former self. Uh, okay, we, we got to Yeah. <laughs> That's the ultimate undersea. You decide dish. the only way 
tail understand is if you move and completely cut off contact with Prince Eric, you uh, live, you move to Phoenix, <laughs> Arizona. And no, get a uh, job at the aquarium. Uh, no, that's true for me too, Squee. I'm a eunuch, so figure that out. You okay. never get involved I'm with another woman again. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now it's well, I got it. No I, more. Jim. Now, Jim. Answers. I got something. Um. Yeah, my stream is kind of breaking apart, but I got a good idea. Okay. Yeah, I feel like just one clinging merman is all it takes to ruin it for. Yeah. Like, uh, never again. Yeah, I is guess. Is Todd bisexual? Uh, he's, he swims both ways. Yeah, maybe. Wait, aquarium? I thought we were at a beach. No, I moved to the. No I got a job at the aquarium. Oh, I missed that part. Okay. Yeah. Now we live in Phoenix. Uh, oh, the Phoenix Aquarium is top notch. Yeah. So can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. You're coming through perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. Mm, I can't hear you guys anymore. Uh oh. Perfectly clear. Just type. Yeah. Just. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have to leave and come back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, try that. Should we wait for Jim or like keep going? Then he hangs up. Oh. You immediately oh, call the police and run out of your apartment. You run out of your apartment, but Eric doesn't seem to be around or has taken a hostage. Oh. Uh, okay. You get a call from an unknown number on your cell phone. It's Eric. He says in a scary voice, I have your children. Wow. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Okay, you guys got it? So he called, he's got our kids hostage. Yes, yeah. Wanna Turn on your video? video? Yeah. I'm Jim for the these precious few seconds. I love it. There you go. <laughs> See if I can hide. <laughs> your face is split down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jim is totally that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to slide down, but I can't. That's as far as I can go. That's so it. he found us. He tracked us down. Yeah. I don't know how he did it. Well, he's got our phone number. We didn't change our phone number. Look, guys, I'm Jim. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a perfect replication. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary, though. <laughs> you look, like, really, really short. Yeah. Hey, guys. This is Junior Tony here on the stream. <laughs> Let me see if I can... I can't even get down low enough to... <laughs> yeah, it took me a little bit to figure it out. I had to tilt right. my screen up, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the police tell you this is a my chair. common scare tactic. 200 and followers for Jim Christ face reveal. You <laughs> Jim has shown his face, actually, yeah, in the yeah, early yeah. days he did. Yeah, if you it doesn't wanna, matter. If you check out our YouTube and see some of our early episodes, you'll see full, full frontal Jim. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... I just wear a, a face mask anyway, one of those yeah. coronavirus masks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the time. You can see the mouth and everything if you look early. <laughs> the lips. You have gross. trouble getting to sleep that night. Yeah, that that would be enough to scare me. If I had an yeah, ex-girlfriend yeah, 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 yeah. ex after I like moved and changed my address and everything, suddenly give me a call, I, was, I would be... Frightened. Okay, uh, how about you file a restraining order against uh, yeah. Prince Eric? I think that's a nice uh, logical progression. Uh-oh, what do, I just heard a noise of somebody leaving. Nope. Okay. Uh, you I file the, the stream so I could hear the voice. Oh, I see. You file a restraining order against Prince Eric with the Coast Guard. 
Oh. Uh, with the Coast Guard, could you do that? I guess so. I mean, if it's the matters of the After sea. After the police explain oh, that Eric it. was just messing with you, you begin to calm down. You tell the police you'd like to file a restraining order so this never happens again. That's even worse that he was just joking. I mean... Yeah, I know. Yeah. What kind of fucked up person does that? Uh, this is exactly what Eric wanted. Eric had a friend in the clerk's office. So as soon as you filed the restraining order... He Is that how he gets our address? Out where you live. No. Damn and it. And shows up oh, man, this is to complex. your place. Uh, how would you transport a merman <laughs> deep into Phoenix, Arizona? In a yeah, tank. we're in we're in Arizona. He in, cannot follow. Uh, <laughs> in a fill one tank. of those dumpsters with water. Oh, okay, yeah, like that in. Uh, in the back of a, a dumpster uh, that is on a flatbed truck. In an oil tanker filled with water? Oh, that's also good. Don't forget to block he my He breaks Facebook. into your apartment <gasps> and holds you hostage for days, but he treats you well so it isn't too bad. Isn't mm. too bad. He's still we're being hostage. We've got Stockholm house. syndrome, guys. Yeah, it ain't, it's not too bad, you know. Fair yeah. Right. And next friend, you know, I I forgot how much I loved pizza on a bagel. With pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. It's true. <laughs> yeah, and I'm having it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say like uh, you make a joke and you say this is not good for my water bill. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Or or I'm going to say, like... <laughs> uh, I bet we're eating these pizza bagels it. just, like, defrosted. He doesn't... Can't even oh, cook gross. them. gross. Yep, yep. They're just... Wet. <laughs> A wet bag of defrosted pizza bagels. Oh, gross. Soggy <laughs> pizza bagels? Uh. He asks. You throw yourself into the bathtub to escape from him. Ah. Your head bumps against the faucet, which falls off and clogs your bathtub with water. Oh, no. A apartment's flooding. Yeah. <laughs> the apartment uh, fills with water, uh, which, which allows Prince Eric to easily chase after you run to the kitchen and grab a sashimi knife. <laughs> wow. Very specialized. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a sashimi knife, Jason? I think my brother does, but I don't. Yeah. Wow. He comes at you with his knife, but you manage to fend him off. You grab a chair and hit him with it, but the metal legs just bounce off his hard shell. Whoa, he's got like a lobster oh. shell. Oh. Let's see. You, uh. Oh, I know. You throw wasabi into his eyes. Oh, there you go, yeah. Oh, that will do. Yeah. A false You clock. grab the wasabi from the fridge and throw it into his eyes. He screams out in pain, and you take the opportunity to stab him in the neck with your knife. I'm sorry. Oh, it had, <laughs> it had to happen. I'm sorry! I'm sorry. You, you, you say that or he says that? We we say that, I think. Yeah. Okay. I would feel bad if I threw um, this in someone's eyes. I'm going to say... Damn. Uh, uh, you ever see that movie... Oh god, I can't remember what it was, but it was like this girl. Uh, it was uh, Ingrid Goes West. It was Aubrey Plaza is like obsessed with this like popular girl, 
and oh. she like tries to take over her life and like become her almost. Mm. I saw the trailer for it, but I never actually watched the movie. It's like it's kind of scary. It's a little. Uh... I'm gonna say. The, have you seen uh, the show Legion? She's pretty. Aubrey Plaza is pretty good in that. Oh yeah, Legion's great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say uh, you cut him into little pieces and eat him for dinner with soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a kill, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You cut him into little pieces and eat his raw flesh for dinner, then flush the remains oh, down the toilet. Damn. Eric suit. was a terrible person and didn't deserve to live. You go to bed and sleep a peaceful sleep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wholesome? Is yeah. that wholesome? We're not missing any sleep over this. Yeah. yeah wow. This is we... Definitely. This is uh, definitely not a uh, wholesome. Yeah, in fact, you kill some other mermaid. No sleep lost at all. Again, you wonder, <laughs> hmm, maybe mer people just don't deserve to live. Because I clearly am not. <laughs> it doesn't even it's face not, me. It's not all mer people, it's just him. He was a terrible person. That yeah, goes. this is like <laughs> this is like Dexter, but, but only with mermen. Yeah. Uh. Out of respect, you decide to call Ariel. Oh uh, yeah, I was thinking that too. We gotta hook up with her. Uh, out of respect. <laughs> out of, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you decide to call Ariel and let her know that Eric uh, has passed on. The end, you got the dagger ending. Oh, the dagger! The dagger. So yeah, the dagger we got ending. the Judas ending, the Lazarus ending, and the dagger ending. Wow, what is with that? Yeah, I don't get under why it's like this doing is that. Shimmy dagger. Yeah. Here, how about uh, I'll say this? Yeah, uh, quick epilogue. Uh, Eric's parents. Eric's parents uh, visit Phoenix and ask if you've seen their son <laughs> oh, seen their, their son lately Ugh. yeah he had a little you, shrine dedicated to you, you with say, that you say no but I'm sure he'll show up in a bit or two uh, <laughs> uh, I, knew, <laughs> I knew something was coming I was like <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you aren't able to kill her. Oh, oh damn! And knows you killed her son. She kills you with a machete, and now you are dead and in hell. Oh, oh. my God. God! That is amazing. That is wow. the, the best twist end to the a movie. <laughs> oh, wow! I don't trust you. A mother knows. <laughs> A mother knows. Oh, my. Wholesome? Uh, yeah, maybe for Eric's <laughs> <laughs> she, Her oh. son is still gone. Oh, my God. That is amazing. That's wow. good to do. That's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. wow. I guess we were in the wrong then if we're in the hell. Oh, you think we were right? Yeah. yeah. He was an awful person. Yeah, okay. I, so. I, I don't think I we can top that. I think we gotta end it there. So yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, we're at nine o'clock. Right at nine anyway. Almost. Wow, nine. that. Okay, dragon. Man, yeah, dragon. Dragon isn't as verbose as Griffin, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, it's let me. It's, I was gonna. Good. I was gonna go that way, and we beat Eric and Hell, but I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> if, we might come back to the story, but. Other than that, yeah. Hell, your step divers to subscribe, your step merman. Uh, yeah, your step, step monkeys. Your step basically wabbits. Yeah, your step uh, pearl divers. I can't believe this started out with pearl diving. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. A very aquatic episode, I guess. Later, Bash. Later, Penguin. Yeah. Later, Lemmy. Uh, see you tomorrow at 8. Good night, everybody. Bye, Squee. Peace. <laughs>